the mountains To the prairies To the oceans Wide with Isn't it? Yeah. I hope that the same feeling that we get when we listen to these songs, um, we get when we listen to other hymns like talking about heaven too. Mm -hmm. So we have Clark here doing a lot of things, trying from one you know, for us, it's so easy, but he has to change every time that having things or something. So, okay. Thank you, Clark. <laughs> Holidays. We know about Memorial Day, right? For the soldiers who died, and then Veterans Day for the ones who served. But what about 4th of July? Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's Independence Day, right? But it's more not well known as 4th of July. <laughs> so what do we do the 4th of July? What is it for? What are we celebrating? We know about fireworks, right? You know that fireworks were used even before Christ? It's nothing new. Mm -hmm. uh, and they are beautiful, aren't they? Have you planned where you are going to go and watch some fireworks? Okay. I watched it last night. Last <laughs> Okay. Different dates for different places, nothing wrong with that. But oh, can you imagine the second coming isn't going to be much better than any <laughs> fireworks? Amen. 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 <laughs> okay, so parades also, right? We don't have so many right now. Uh, towns have more problems with budgets, and uh, maybe people don't want to go out so much. Fourth of July foods, right? Red, white, and <laughs> blue. Uh, everything is trying to be showing those colors, and there are some specific foods that are for the 4th of July, mm, and barbecues. But for us, it's tonight, right? <laughs> Haystacks, okay. Uh, and some people go through 
great lengths to be so patriotic. And even in the clothes that they wear, and Gloria was telling me, she is very patriotic. <laughs> and I am too. Uh, have you done something with your pets? Hmm. Uh, we have Wendy up there. She's trying to hide herself. <laughs> so she has her little pet there too. But some people just look to the 4th of July because of the good offers that the stores say they have or simply because they want to have fun with friends and families. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with flags, mm -hmm. especially if you want to have some in your house, not as big as that. But we shouldn't forget the real meaning of the holiday. Independence Day, Freedom Day. I went to the Bible trying to find words with uh, independence. And then, then uh, uh, uh. but there, there are so many with freedom. So what's the story behind our 4th of July? Mm -hmm. We should, when we celebrate the holiday, at least try to think a little bit about what happened. Uh, do you know this man? Mm -hmm. Thomas Jefferson. So the um, story is kind of like uh, um, the initial battles and in the Revolutionary War were broke out in April 1775. But you know what? There were few colonists at that time who desired complete independence from Great Britain. And the ones who did, they were called radicals. So, <laughs> do you know that? Not everybody wanted to become independent. One year later, because those radicals did a lot of work, there were more people considering independence. And on June 7, 1776, the Continental Congress met at Pennsylvania State House. Uh, and the Virginia delegate Richard Henry Lee introduced a motion calling for the colonists' independence. Do you think it passed? No. <laughs> it was a heated debate. You oh, yeah. So they postponed uh, to vote on Lee's resolution, and they appointed a five-man committee, including Thomas Jefferson. And they did draft a formal statement justifying the break with Great Britain. So on July 2nd, they voted the uh, in favor of Lee's, Lee's resolution. But on July 4th, they adopted formally the Declaration of Independence, which had been written largely by Jefferson. So they were still fighting which day they should celebrate July 2nd or July 4th. John Adams wrote to his wife, Abigail, that July 2nd, <laughs> listen to this, 
will be celebrated, celebrated by, by succeeding generations as the great anniversary festival. And that the celebration should include pomp and parade, games, sports, guns, bells, bonfires, and illuminations, fireworks, from one end of this continent to the other. So they even decided how we should celebrate that day. Hmm? Uh, George Washington, <laughs> you know how he celebrated in following years? Issuing double rations of rum to his soldiers. So, anyway, it was not until 1870 that the U.S. Congress made July 4th a federal holiday. And it wasn't until 1941 that it became a paid holiday. You could take the day off and still earn money. So, how are we celebrating today? Mm, do you remember any of that important document? Of course, just signing the document didn't mean that everything was fine. The war continued, people died. There were many, um, a lot of suffering. The 13 colonies, the flag. There are so many things in history that we can learn from. But we finally got to the point where freedom was rich. Yeah, freedom was rich. And remember, mm -hmm, as we celebrate our nation freedom, we should honor the courageous men and women dedicated to preserve it. Remember, we are in the home of the free because of the brave that is still doing their part. And we should honor the American veterans and our people in the service all over the world. I love this slide. We are not boots on the ground. We are husbands, wives, fathers, mothers, sons, daughters. We are human beings. Amen. We have feelings. And we need God too. So the Lord is going to find the opportunity to touch each of us. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. We can listen now to another patriotic song from Kevin. And um, pay attention, come please, and pay attention to the words. And remember the feeling. Mm? <laughs> Thy 
red brotherhood from sea to shining beautiful America that we live in. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Now we are going to go to the Bible. And we are going to... <laughs> that was an amen. Uh, it's not changing. We are going to talk about true freedom. Mm? We're talking about freedom today, 4th of July. What about true freedom according to how it is given to us? Mm? Uh, and in John 8.32, it says, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. What is the truth? That we have a savior and he gave his life for us to make us really free. And Psalms 119.45, ha -ha, should we read it together? I will walk about in freedom, for I have sought your precept. He left us a guide to follow in our lives, to really be free. What about this? Let's read together. So, if the sun sets you free, you will be free indeed. Uh, you may have been a slave of sin, but you don't have to remain under its power. And Romans 6.14, For sin shall no longer be your master. No, no, no. Because you are not under the law, but under Grace, the one who paid for our rescue with his life, continues providing for our free lives. Hmm? And what does Ephesians said? Look at those hands. <laughs> for it, let's read together. For it is by grace you had been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, but it's the gift of God, a gift that is abundant, always at our reach. Oh, I always free to the ones who have faith. And then, ooh, true freedom. Let's read Romans 8.21. The creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God, the whole planet. 
you know, including our enemies. Uh -uh. And true freedom? Oh, we were given the commission to share the good news with everyone in the planet. Yes, America is beautiful and is the richest country in the world. God gave us all that blessing with a purpose to share. Mm. Two more. Let's read 1 Corinthians 9, 19. Though I'm free and belong to no one, I had made myself a slave to everyone to win as many as possible. If you are not aware with what Paul is saying, this afternoon, go to your Bible and read the following verses. It's so interesting. Mm -hmm. So, making ourselves slaves. We are free, but we choose <laughs> to be a slave in order to share riches, share knowledge, share kindness. Share salvation. Mm. And then Romans 6, 22, everybody together. But now that you had been set free from sin and had become slaves of God, the benefits you reap leads to holiness. And the result is? Wow! <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Okay. So we were slaves and we became free from because of Christ. And then we chose to become slaves of God, not of sin, in order to help others to and all together, we all together enjoy eternal life. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, let that be our Fourth of July message. And if, huh, we want fireworks? Yes. <laughs> Let's ask the Lord that we want to start a fire in our souls and have flames and make it grow because there is nothing more powerful than a Christian on fire for God. We have this great commission that was given to us. Are we doing our part? Mm, go to all the world. Remember when you read about the pioneers of our church and Sister White and Andrews and how they left everything they had in this beautiful country to go to other places and start preaching there. They have no connections. They have no money. Oh, my gosh. If we could do that with that the same sense of sacrifice... Now, the Lord will have, come, have to come very soon. Mm -hmm. So, let's read this together. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. Amen. That is easy to read. But it's easy to apply in our lives. Can we apply that as a country also? I have no answers. I, don't, I know very little about politics. I know we are divided. Of, and I know that among Christians, there are so many different ways to interpret what 
the president is, is doing, what Congress is doing, et cetera, et cetera. But I try to think about how I will, uh, if I had to make decisions, important decisions, how would I act? And you know what? I have no answers. We are, the United States is bringing back all soldiers from Afghanistan, right? I don't know if you have read that or not. And some people are going to say, yes, that's so good. And others are going to think about Afghanistan. And if you know anything about the history of that country, I know we had been there for so many years, no progress. And Russia had been there. And, uh, well, it's, it's sad, it's so sad. You know who is happy? The Taliban. Oh my gosh, they are so happy. What's going to happen to that country? What's going to happen to the Christians in that country? What's going to happen with any Seventh-day Adventists in that country? We need to pray. I have no answers. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm? We have all these people in our borders here who dream about America and the beautiful, who have so many difficulties and dangers in their places of origins who are willing to separate from their children for a chance for them to live in America the beautiful. Can we let them all come? Can we? I have no answers. But uh, there is a need. There, is, there are people suffering. I don't have an answer. I don't know what is better. I don't know. But I know that it has to be a solution. And if we make a mistake, th that's my philosophy always, let me err on the side of kindness mm -hmm. or be nice or trying to help. If I made a mistake, okay, I made a mistake. So I have no answer. <laughs> and problems are gonna continue. International problems are going to continue. Things that we had not imagined, like COVID-19. We never imagined that. It happened. We are trying to get over that, but something else may come. Okay? Remember this verse, love your enemies. Love your enemies. Uh, in that article that I was reading, uh, a, a pastor said that after 9-11, it was this... A uh, huge um, feeling of patriotism, right? And uh, people were pressing him to talk more about it in church. But he was also thinking about all the families in his church that were from other countries, mm -hmm. some uh, Islamic countries. And he had uh, that battle to fight because we can understand freedom, mm -hmm. but in other countries they cannot understand freedom. And now we have a global church. Now even... Uh, now, after COVID, that so many services are being seen in all around the world. When we make an emphasis on patriotism here, some people listening in the other countries cannot understand that. 
They can only dream about a little part of what we enjoy here. So let's go back to Jesus and the cross. And maybe that can give us a guide of how to proceed on any of the hard decisions that we as individuals or we as citizens we had to make. Hmm? So the cross marks the place in time and space when humanity was truly set free. So somebody who is under living in a country where they cannot talk about Christ or they can lose everything, going to jail, losing their businesses, kids that uh, if they don't attend the school on the Sabbath, um, th their families can be punished. Let's try to understand all that. <laughs> this is an interesting picture. Mm -hmm. We have all that freedom here, but can we say this is a country that is following Jesus? guidance? I don't know. We could be. Okay, just remember, the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. So in other parts of the world, that's a daily thing, especially if you are a Christian. Let's um, give that idea and the thought and uh, the inspiration that even if we don't get a reward here, we are going to get a reward in heaven. And let's read this together. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will exalt him. So whatever beauty or goodness American Christians attribute to their country, you know what? It's very small when we compare it with the glory of God. So, Kevin, can you give us a last song? Last because he told me he had three, not because I'm cutting him off. <laughs> Jesus said in his own words, he said, um, no man comes to the Father except through him. So Jesus is the center of my joy.
that shatters all my fears when I'm all alone. Your hand, your hand is there to hold. can read together so we will all be praying this Lord Jesus thou who are the way the truth and the life hear us as we pray for the truth that shall make all free 
teach us that liberty is not only to be loved, but also to be lived. Liberty is too precious a thing to be buried in books. It costs too much to be hoarded. Help us see that our liberty is not the right to do as we <laughs> by opportunity to do what is right. Help us see that our liberty is not the right to do as we please, but the opportunity to do what is right. Isn't that wonderful? So, hmm, keep praising God for all the blessings he had given us through this beautiful country and enjoy the 4th of July. God bless you all.